Hey guys, it's Jessica and today we're going to do some organizing. I have certain areas of my master bedroom and bathroom that really need to be reorganized like so much so that when I like put laundry away into like my dresser drawers, I'm like instantly stressed out. My shoulders feel like they're like <laughs> like all the way up to the heavens. So, I feel like it is time. Like it is definitely time. It's a snowy day outside. I don't know if you can tell. So, like I said, we're going to organize my dressers over there which houses my like workout clothes, my pajamas, my comfy clothes, and even some travel stuff. And then I'm also going to organize my linen closet. It desperately like literally I was changing the sheets today on my bed here and literally I had to like yank the sheet set out. I'm like <laughs> There has to be a better way. So today's video is actually sponsored by ThreadUp. You guys know I'm always up front with you guys when a video is sponsored. I've worked with ThreadUp for years now. It's a website where you can buy secondhand like new clothing. And what I love about it is I can actually sit in the comfort of my home without having to rummage through a bunch of shelves at a store. I can just filter it by size or like the brand that I'm maybe looking for. Or maybe I'm just looking for leggings. This site, it's so quick and easy. I love it. I've used it for years. I've gotten sisters of mine are using it and friends of mine are using it. I talk about it all the time because I love it. So I wanted to show you some new pieces I picked out. A lot of them are under 20 bucks so I was really excited to share some of these finds with you and I will try on a lot of them as long as they fit. Again I'm still like losing baby weight so I'm like kind of between sizes so we're just gonna see. So what I like to do is if I'm getting new pieces in I like to get rid of some things and I'm sure as I'm going through this dresser here I'll be getting rid of some things too. So because I need to because the drawers won't shut. So ThreadUp always packages their stuff in these really cute polka dot boxes. It feels like a very kind of luxurious experience and they always have like right now they have really cute like holiday wrapping and I'm like Gosh, it's December. I love it. So let's look at some of the pieces I picked out, shall we? The first thing I picked out were these Lou and Gray leggings. I'd heard about Lou and Gray, the brand, from um, some other YouTuber was doing a video with them. And I was like, what? And they're all about like simple basics for your closet, but they're really well made and comfortable. And these leggings, they're kind of like a grayish color and they feel so, so comfortable. Next thing I picked out, J. Crew is one of my favorite brands and I'm always searching J. Crew on there. Um, and I loved the color of this cardigan. Isn't this a pretty, it's like an indigo blue. Um, I can always find really good J. Crew stuff on there for pretty cheap. And I just love cardigans. I'm not even teaching anymore and I still like love to wear a cardigan with like a tank top or whatever. I just love them in this color. I'm like addicted to this color right now. Another piece I picked out was from Crown and Ivy and it was this kind of green turtleneck. I just thought it was different. I really, I like myself in like emerald green. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm sure when I was a little bit younger, I was complimented like one time when I was wearing green and I'm like, it must be the best color on me. So I really do like it though. So um, I just thought this was kind of cute and different and I'm really into turtlenecks, especially um, like thinner ones like this. So, so I went a little H&M crazy. <laughs> on the website because they had a lot of good deals on stuff that's a little bit trendier and kind of cuter. So this is from the H&M Divided line. It's just this kind of looser sweater, but it's kind of like got three-fourths inch sleeves. Three-fourths an inch, that's way too small of a sleeve. You know what I mean, three-fourths sleeves, which I just thought was cute and different. And it's looser, so I figured it would look so perfect with leggings, my favorite thing to wear. And I love like the heather gray with the black stripe. This was L.L. Bean and I was like, <laughs> Dang girl, you bougie. I feel like L.L. Bean is like what the rich people that go to country clubs wear. I loved this. This is just a basic turtleneck. Again, like truly basic, but this color is so, I mean, this color is like <laughs> very trendy. It was probably trendy a year ago and I'm just behind. Okay, this was another Lewin Gray find. It's like my new brand. It's a dress. It's this really nice material. It's kind of warmer, but it's still a short sleeve dress. And I just thought it would be so pretty. Again, with leggings, I could wear it with boots. I could put a blazer over it or a cardigan, or I could just wear it straight up like in the spring. But I just thought it was so beautiful. And I loved this shade of blue. And clearly I have a thing for stripes. I got some good stuff. Like I forgot what I'd ordered. And like, as I'm opening this box, I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah, I forgot. Um, so this is from the H&M brand as well. And again, it's kind of more of the oversized sweater, but it's a little bit more feminine and it's not like a huge chunky oversized um and it's just i love this kind of like soft but kind of textured material you know what i mean okay fine another Lou and gray i'm embarrassed at how much i got from that brand um but again it's kind of like an oversized like t-shirt that would look great with leggings it's a little bit longer and i think it's a it's like slit up the side a little bit again leggings that's all i want that's all i want ever in life i'm never gonna like not want that this is softer than i thought this is from Forever 21. I swear to you, I just bought this light pink one just like this from another store. I think it was called Dry Goods. And it was like, 
$70. <laughs> I saved a lot of money on this. And this like wine color is so gorgeous. This is softer than you would imagine. This might be the best thing I got. <laughs> I know I got a lot of cream sweaters. This is from Uniqlo and it's actually a little scratchy. It feels like wool. Um, but it's really, really pretty. And again, this is just more of a traditional sweater, but I just really liked it. I now have too many sweaters. This might be the most I've ever bought from ThreadUp. I was going ham. This is from Forever 21, another turtleneck. Um, but I just feel like shopping on sites like ThreadUp, you're saving so much money, so you feel like you can almost like revamp your wardrobe every season, maybe get rid of a few pieces, pick up some new pieces, and you're not spending an arm and a leg. Another favorite, favorite brand of mine is Madewell. Again, that was another brand I heard about through YouTube like years ago, and I was like, what is this brand? What is it? Um, but it's this really pretty like green, but it's not like olive. It's like, I don't even know what to call this color. It's a really, I like it though. It's a really pretty like kind of light olive green, um, and it's a high-low sweatshirt or sweater. I always say it wrong. So then I got this chunky, sweater from H&M. It's kind of a light blush pink, but it's a little bit shorter. So we'll see if I feel comfortable wearing this yet. Again, if I've got like high waist like leggings on, like my favorite Lululemon Align leggings, oh my gosh. Um, I feel a little bit more put together if it's a little bit shorter, but if it's not, then I don't know. So we'll see. Okay, last thing I'm adding to my wardrobe are these, are these Lululemon? Did I do it again? Lululemon leggings, LOL. These are more like, I think they're a little bit cropped. I'm obsessed with those leggings. They're expensive, but they're nice. This is a great way to save some money on them, especially if there's a certain color you want. Like they had a ton of black Lululemon leggings on there. So definitely check out the site if you've been dying to try some, but you don't want to spend like $100. You can save a lot of money on the site. So if you are interested in trying ThreadUp, they're offering you guys 30% off your first order. Check out my link and promo code down below if you're interested. So that's everything I'm adding to my wardrobe. Let's go through and get rid of some stuff, organize some stuff. It's gonna be a good day. So this is what we're tackling today. Um, I've got my coffee, I've got my phone. Um, so the way I'm using it right now is that I've got my workout clothes here. This drawer is not too bad, but I definitely need to declutter it and reorganize. This drawer I have like sweatshirts in. This drawer has Disney stuff in. This one is my pajamas and loungewear. This is more sweatshirts. And then this is like travel stuff. All of this, I need to declutter it because it, like pretty much every single drawer is way overfilled. So that is the task. So I'm gonna start by pulling out some of the things, putting it up here and kind of decluttering some of it as I go. So right off the bat, I can get rid of all of these. This North Face is too small on me. Um, this Wild Fox shirt, I just don't really wear. I just don't. Um, and then this really cute kind of Mickey and Bones shirt. I see, I feel like I should keep it, but guess what? Holiday or Halloween has come and gone two years and I didn't wear it any of the years. So it's just time. This is a black North Face fleece, but it actually goes with my North Face like rain jacket. So I feel like I should go hang it downstairs. So I'm gonna move this cause I didn't even honestly even know it was in here. And it's a really nice fleece. So I have shirts from my teaching job that I just left. So I think I'm gonna go through this, keep maybe one or two that I really like and then hand them off to friends that still work there in case they want them. So I'm gonna keep these two from there cause this is actually our district and it's the same district that Gigi will go to. So I figure that's good. And then this is the school one that I really like. So I'm gonna keep those two cause I can still wear them around the house and I still love that school. Um, I have a few Christmas ones here. Um, I feel like I should like put in a prominent spot so I wear them. This one Tyler got me a couple years ago for Christmas and it says, Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. These are all going, that's not bad. That's gonna free up a lot of space. So I'm gonna get rid of these three. This is a Wild Fox sweatshirt. It's really comfy, but I've had it for years. I've worn it a lot. And I know someone else will be so excited to like wear this all the time and I never wear it, but it's a great, great uh, sweatshirt. Then this is a Victoria's Secret pink one I've had literally for seven years, it's time. And then this Glossier one is almost too warm. I bought it on their website a while ago and I've worn it a couple times but I always get so hot in it that it's like I never want to put it on so it I'm gonna pass it on 
So I have a few sweatshirts that I'm keeping. I got this like in Mackinac Island. That's a Vineyard Vines one. Actually, I got on thread up last time. Um, so I'm keeping all of these, but I'm wondering if I can consolidate some of them to one drawer and then have an open drawer for other stuff, just like for breathing room. Because I have a drawer in my closet of Disney shirts and then I also have these Disney shirts, so I'd like to have them all together. I also wouldn't mind having these higher up, um, like maybe up in this drawer. So I'm gonna move these to the side and then I'm gonna choose drawers here in a bit. So this drawer is my workout drawer. Um, I don't think there's a ton I need to get rid of here, but I definitely need to reorganize and rethink some things here. So shirt wise, one thing I've learned about myself when I'm working out, I like looser tops. So um, I have a few here, some black ones. I think it might be time for this to go. This is like paper thin at this point because I've used it for so many years. Um, so pretty much all of these are like looser workout tanks that I like. Some of these are ones that when I've lost a little bit more weight because I do run, I don't mind if it's fitted, but right now I don't want any fitted ones. So. Um, I've got black ones, clearly I like black workout clothes, um, but I'm gonna put the looser ones on top and the maybe not so loose ones on the bottom in the drawer. And then I have these long sleeve ones. I like all of these still, um, and I wear them right now. It's winter and I have been running outside a bit. So those can stay, but all of these are gonna go. Most of these are too small and they were even too small on me like before I got pregnant. Um, and just other ones that like, I bought a few on clearance that were giant when I was super pregnant, but then I couldn't work out because of complicated, it doesn't matter. Anyway, and then this Adidas one I was so excited about, but two things. First of all, this tank, it comes up so high around the neck, I like put it on and start sweating, I hate it. So it is not comfortable to actually work out in. And it turned this weird cream color because I washed it with something. <laughs> the more I look at it, I'm like, it's actually kind of cool. But again, someone will get more use out of it because I'm just not even comfortable wearing it, it's just not comfortable. So already with pants, I'm getting rid of a few. I have three pairs of shorts. I never wear shorts when I run anyway. So keeping these pants, getting rid of these. So the last things in here are sports bras. Um, I use most of these, but let me at least do a quick sweep of it. Okay, so I'm keeping these sports bras. I'm getting rid of, again, some of these I've had for so many years, it's just time. Keeping these, and then I have all these hair things to pull my hair back while I'm running. Um, I probably should use. I like keeping them in this drawer so I know where to find them instead of putting them. So I think what I'll probably do is maybe just keep these two and get rid of these two. I've got my running armband. I can link on Amazon. It is amazing. It fits like any phone. It looks tiny, I know, but it's incredible. And then my wireless headphones, I'm actually charging right now, but this is the case for them. And I only use those while I'm running, so those stay together. I think these I'm gonna put in a different drawer as well, maybe one lower. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in this drawer. Let's refold and reorganize. So I feel really pleased with this. I ended up rolling my uh, workout pants and I rolled some of them from the bottom up so that way the waistband would show. If there are different waistbands and you know you like certain ones, for me, I wanna be able to see the waistband so I know which one I'm grabbing. 
So I've got my shirts there. I've got um, those rolled up. I've got these, and I have a few of these things are dirty um, from the past few days workout. So I have some breathing room for all of them. I might for the pants have to put like another layer on top. We'll just see. Um, and if that doesn't work, I can always fold them normally. Um, I've got plenty of room for some long sleeve ones. I've got my sports bras here, just kind of folded. And then I ended up pulling in this clear acrylic little square thing and it has everything in it. It's got my little headphones case and all of that. So it's holding them separate, which I like that they have a home. So this portion is my pajama drawer. These top two drawers are thicker than the other one. So we'll just see how this goes. Um, ooh, I'm gonna like spill my coffee here. So I'm not even done with the drawer yet and I'm already getting rid of all of these things that are just old PJ pants. They're a little tighter than what I like. They're too hot to wear, things like that. Things I just have too many of. Some of them are maternity. Um, so those need to go. All of these can go, um, some of them are, again, a little too small or just not comfortable. Some of them are nursing tanks I'll probably put with my maternity tote in the basement. So these are all PJ shirts. I don't feel the need to like roll these because I, I don't really care which one I'm wearing any given night. I just reach in here and grab. So um, I feel like those could just go in no problem. And then I have sweatpants. See, I'd like to have a different drawer just for like loungewear. You know what I mean? So maybe, and I feel like sweatpants, I don't like to sleep in sweatpants, but I like to lounge during the day in this. So maybe I'll put those to the side. Same with these, like these are just classic leggings. Um, not like daily leggings I would go out in, but just like cozy home ones. So I feel like that would be more in the lounge. But then these are obviously all pajama pants. I'm gonna put the shorts on the bottom. So now that I have all this room, I have like half the drawer. I have thinner drawers down below, so I might actually move my PJ drawer and then I can use these taller drawers for those bigger sweatshirts that I was hoping to have room for all in one drawer. So yeah, this is plenty uh, to fill one of the smaller ones. So I figure let's keep this open. Oh, I have my good sleep essential oil. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I put that in my PJ drawer, it seems appropriate, except for I always forgot it was there. So there you go. So I'm gonna try to do a little bit of vertical storage for these sweaters since this is a deeper drawer, just to be able to fit more in it. Um, and I can actually see what I have because I feel like I'm always wearing whatever's on top. Side note, is anyone else obsessed with like sweatshirts like this that are like that kind of, it's the comfort colors kind, but I literally am low key obsessed with them. Like <laughs> they're so cozy. So I've got room for these lounge pants to be over here since these are kind of lounge sweaters. Um, and I actually think I might just hang this up because this is, it's definitely loungy, but it's kind of just cozy and I wouldn't mind having it hanging up so I see it more often. So I think I might try that and see if I start to use it.
Okay, so this drawer is done. I've got room. I think I might have one or two of these kind of sweatshirts in the laundry so that I've still got room. I could probably fit one more there and I could definitely fit at least one, maybe two here. So there's room to grow. And then I have um, my lounging pants. So my sweatshirts and my kind of more sporty leggings just to wear around the house. It all fits in one, which is, oh my gosh, this is like the stuff of dreams. All it took was getting rid of like half of my crap. <laughs> So now we're gonna put my PJs in here. Again, these don't need to be organized in a pretty way because I'm just throwing them on. And it, like I said, I just grabbed the next one because I, you know, it's not an outfit. But I like that I've got room over here. Um, I'll think about if there's anything that I would want to go over here, but I like, I just, ah, breathing. Now to tackle this way too full drawer. So we're gonna sit on the floor here if I don't knock over this light. So see, this is what I mean. It's so full, I can't even shut it. So we're gonna pull everything out. We're gonna declutter. So like I said, this is kind of my travel drawer. Um, and by kind of, I mean it is, but I feel like I have other travel stuff elsewhere. So I want to kind of consolidate a little bit here. Let me pull everything out. I think it's time to say goodbye to my Vera Bradley um, hanging organizer. I loved it, I used it a lot, but um, it's just, I feel like the past, I, we travel a lot, like every other month at this point, and I haven't used it in like a year and a half. So I think I'm just, it's past its time. I might ask if any sisters of mine want this because it's a very nice bag. I just, I'm just tired of it, I guess. Um, I did, I actually bought this for when I was in the hospital for having Genevieve. Um, and it's a little bit more simplified a uh, hanging organizer and it was really easy to access everything. So I think I'm gonna keep this. And then I have this um, Kestrel bag that is nice. It can hold a lot of different things. So I think I might keep both of these. I think these are really nice travel pieces. This is also a great uh, travel bag because it has a brush holder area. So again, I think I'm gonna keep. And then this is actually a brush case for travel and I used this very recently and I fell in love with it from Deli and Tools. I have this travel blow dryer that I might put in my bathroom actually with my actual blow dryer because it doesn't have to live in here. And since this is all organized and I can actually see everything and close the drawer, I don't really want to mess with that. I think I am going to keep this jewelry case in case I want it. And then I think I'm going to pass on this makeup case again to someone I think will actually use it more often than I will. This Disney drawer, I'm going to tackle another day. I think I might do like a separate Disney video of like Disney products I own and reorganizing and maybe even getting rid of some because I have Disney t-shirts I have this and it's such a mess and it's not really um, the focus of this video and I'm worried that it will take like 30 minutes and it'll be too long so look forward to that if you're interested in seeing that kind of video but I have an open drawer how amazing so to do a quick tour of this dresser system now that it's done I have one drawer completely open and it's one of my big ones so as I over time over the winter declutter my closet some more I have room for some things and this I have my sweaters or my sweatshirts and my lounge pants down here I have my pajamas tops and bottoms here I've got my workout clothes super organized this is probably my new favorite drawer like I said Disney drawer down there I'll do in the future and then down here I got my travel drawer with everything I got rid of like I had too many packing cubes and this is a whole bunch of packing cubes in one I just recently picked up makeup bags, wallets, those kinds of things I use for travel. And I love that I can see everything and also I can shut it no problem. This is what we're dealing with here. Um, 
We've got laundry baskets that need to be replaced on the bottom. We have towels and sheet sets and beach towels and like random old stuff that we used to use in Pinocchio's cage, our dog, um, other blankets. It's so much stuff. I feel like half of it could just be donated. Like we have more sheet sets than we will ever be able to use even with a kid. Um, and of course right now she's in a crib using very different sheets. So um, we have a towel set that we used to have that we don't really use anymore and we don't even use in other bathrooms. So I just feel like there's a lot we can donate that other people can use. Um, and yeah, so let's tackle this. So the first thing we're gonna do is take absolutely everything out of here, organize it by type, get rid of some stuff, and then put it all back in. That's the easiest way for my mind to even comprehend how to tackle this. So I cleaned out the floor here and I've got everything out. So next up is Tyler thinks he knows where he, he took this off when we were going to keep laundry in here, but we're actually going to move it. So he thinks he knows where the shelf is. We can put it back on there and then we have even more storage. Not that we really need it because I think I can get rid of a lot, but uh, it already feels better. So this is what I mean. Look at all of this. Those aren't even the bathroom towels we use. The bathroom towels we actually use are right there. So I feel like we'll use these like if we really haven't done laundry in a while. So I might keep maybe some of them, but like all these white ones can probably be donated. We have a million washcloths and we don't really even use washcloths. Um, so, and then like these beach towels. We live in the Midwest where we're not swimming often. So I feel like obviously we wanna have some, but we have way too many. These are, beach towels are one of those things that random makeup companies will send me. So I have a lot and I have a feeling I can certainly get rid of a good amount of them. These are all the beach towels we are keeping. Some of them are sentimental. There are a couple Disney ones and this one we got in Spain and there's quite a story behind it. Um, and then there are a couple other ones that were just really nice beach towels that I didn't want to get rid of. Um, so those are the ones we're keeping. We're gonna get in there. I'm keeping this sheet set, which actually goes, it's kind of like our guest bed sheet set. This is our second one. So I'm gonna keep that. And then I have two extra pillowcases and two extra pillow cover like protectors, kind of overkill, but um, so I figured that's good if like something happens, one of us gets sick, we've got, um, we can switch it out really quickly without worrying. We have one extra sheet set in the washer and then these are just kind of extra on top of that. So these are gonna be our towels that are like our extra towels um, in there. So if we have gone through all of our nice white ones that I showed you in the bathroom, these are what we'll use. We're gonna go ahead and donate these. They're such a nice set, but we just don't need them. These are my like turby twist kind of things that I use and go through every few days. I'll um, wash it. So those two are definitely staying. We've got these blankets. This is like my childhood blanket that we love using when we're sick. Um, so that I'm definitely keeping and I'd like to keep in there and have a home for it because it's been floating around the house, I feel like ever since we moved in. And then we've got these. I think I might pass this. This is a beautiful blanket. I might see if we have a space for it down in like our basement as like a throw, but I don't think we need to keep it in here. This is my Roosevelt University college blanket and then our heated blanket we're definitely keeping. Um, and then these two are moving to our other bathrooms. And all of this we're getting rid of. Got like random things, some beach towels, some extra sheet sets, some old sheet sets. More towels, this we can donate an entire sheet set untouched. So that's a lot out of there. I'm excited to reorganize this. So here's the after, that's it. Now the reality is, like I said, if we kept all of our towels in here, there'd be more. Um, but 
this is ideal in my opinion because I'm like, we shouldn't need this much. There's just two of us in this bathroom. I can see over time where we might shuffle some things around. Um, I would love to eventually uh, kind of put some like skincare in here, like backup skincare that Tyler can go through if he needs it or backup hair stuff. But in the meantime, I have those things elsewhere and this is really nice. I know it's not like designer pretty, but it's just such a good feeling. Um, and I didn't wanna, I thought about adding in like baskets and stuff, I was like, I really don't need them. You know, a lot of these things are kind of oversized. Um, it seems silly to me to just put those three towels in a basket. I could, I guess it would look cute, but it just, I just feel like for me, it's not functional and it's just not necessary considering how much I'm left with. Um, there I left empty because once our extra sheet set, like our white sheet set for our bedroom is clean, that will go there. And I ended up, if you didn't notice, I ended up keeping this blanket in here. We'll see. I hope you enjoyed the video. Now I'm excited to show my husband this. He's gonna be elated because we've been so frustrated by how much crap was in this thing. We're trying to be more, more minimalistic and this, even this isn't minimalistic because like I feel like a true minimalist wouldn't have beach towels. They would just use regular towels or they might only keep like three for like three people in the family. But regardless, we're trying to just live with less, have less, and this is really nice. Now, clothing is a different story for me. I do like decluttering and purging, and obviously I get rid of a ton, but I also like getting new pieces in. So clothing is something I feel like I don't know that I'll ever be able to be minimalistic in, truly, because while I can get rid of things and let go of things, I like getting fresh new pieces in. So there you go. So if you're interested in checking out ThreadUp like I showed you earlier, again, I have my link down below as well as a promo code for 30% off your first order. If you're interested, did I already say if you're interested? Yes, I did. Um, other than that, I hope that you enjoyed this organizing video. Um, I know I'm not like professional. I watch so many YouTube videos where people like redid their linen closet and it is like literally like Pinterest worthy. No, that is, I wish that were my lifestyle and maybe one day like I aspire to that. But again, the realist in me knows that this is very functional and very open and um, I love it. I challenge you to go to your linen closet, clean it out. If you've got one of those hallway closets, it's like a dark pit and it ends up holding like all of your cleaning supplies. Like for us, our hallway closet has like cleaning supplies, candle, like it has everything under the sun, batteries. And I recently reorganized it and it's already like needing to be organized again. <laughs> That's another project for another day because this is exhausting. Organizing is exhausting or at least like decluttering. So I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that you'll subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're notified anytime I upload new videos and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.